Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video today. I am going to be doing a wear test of the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. So if you'd like to see how it looks throughout the day, keep on watching. Okay, I am trying out the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Foundation. Um, I am in the shade 301 Classic Ivory. It's the lightest shade that they have. And I'm going to be applying it two different ways today. I'm going to use a beauty blender and I also have, it's down here, I also have this oval brush. Um, it is, I got it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, it's called True Beauty and it's number 108. It's a MAC, you know, Artiste. It's okay. I've used it quite a few times. Um, full disclosure, this is not my first time using this foundation. I have used it a few times before, but I wanted to do a wear test. Um, it is currently 1045, um, and I am applying this, and we'll see what it looks like throughout the day. So half my face I'm going to use the Beauty Blender, and then the right half of my face I'm going to use the brush. So this isn't really a first impression, but wanted you to see it's kind of moussey like it's very thick um, and it really is I mean it says on there that it's air light and it it really is um, so let's just do the beauty blender side I have put on a lotion that underneath a moisturizer that is um, an SPF of 20 because this foundation does not have an SPF so I just put this all over my face and blend it in. In the past when I've used this, I find that it goes on fuller coverage with the beauty blender and I do use like an actual beauty blender I am sure it goes on the same with any makeup sponge but since I do want a fuller coverage and I feel like this is really only medium I'm gonna go in with a second layer cheeks and my chin. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead in with the right side of my face and I'm just going to use this Oval brush. Um, for this, I'm going to put it on to the brush and then swipe it on. Pat it. Pat it? No, I'm not. I'm just going to use my finger. Hello? Can you He's... start without me? I'm doing something else. Oh. I'm doing a wear test. Can you get me? It looks funky. This is my sister. Hey. Hey. I'm like looking at the screen, but the camera. Uh -huh. I know. Because I don't have a flip out screen, so I have a TV set up with it, so I am constantly looking over there. It's pretty cute. Okay, so with the brush, it's kind of a uh, liney. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It's, uh, stripey. stripey, thank you. So, let's try to blend it out a little more, see if I can see your face in the mirror. Ooh. But you can't see me in the camera. So. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's why I smuggled in. There's a lot of brush strokes with this, so I don't like that. I'm just going to go back with my baby blender. Alright. 
so. Hope you guys aren't afraid of pores, because that's what you're going to see. I feel like it looks better on this side. This is the side with the beauty blender. Um, my chin, or my forehead, this is my forehead. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's not horrible, but it definitely doesn't have a, a natural finish, which is what the package claims. Um, there's my chin. It didn't cover up these pimples that I'm getting. Like, at all. I keep doing the wrong one. So it's not bad. The package says uh, it's a natural finish. Wears up to 24 hours. High com uh, coverage and an air light texture. I would say it's definitely got like an air light texture. It doesn't feel thick. It doesn't feel like I've got a ton of foundation on, which is nice. Um, but it's definitely not full coverage on me. And I don't color correct my redness. I know I should. But I don't really see the point. If you've got a foundation that covers it, what's what difference does it make? Um... But, yeah, so I'm going to finish the rest of my face and check in and give you a time, what time it is. Um, oh, it does definitely get the dry skin on my nose. Um, I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I will let you guys know what time it is and then do some check-ins throughout the day. All right, so this is the final look. I used my NYC Smooth Skin Face Powder to set, and I also used my Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist by Tarte, just because I use these things every time I wear foundation, so it's, I mean, not really a wear test for me if I don't have them on. And, I don't know. I feel like it kind of came off when I put on some powder. Um, I usually stamp the powder in my finishing powder in, but like blush and con uh, what's this called? Contour. I don't know if you can even see it, but we'll see how it wears the rest of the day. It is 11:13. If you can see that, it's 11:13, and I'm gonna do a check-in in five hours six hours so around four or five tonight um and then i'll do another one right before i go to bed and we'll see well before i take my makeup off um and we'll see how it wears hey guys so i wanted to do a check-in really quick it is 322 haven't really noticed too much um foundation always seems to break up around my nose and right here where my glasses are so you know, that's normal. Um, but looking in the, this is my setup. I can like see, whoo, inception. Um, but looking in there and as well as like looking with my mirror, I don't know. I think it kind of like melted a little bit into my skin, which is nice. If you look real close up on, this is hard. Like here, where my glasses hit, obviously it's like, you know, breaks up there. That's pretty much how foundations perform on my skin anyway. Yeah, so that's how it's looking throughout the day. Um, I feel like I blow my nose a lot, so it wears off really quickly around my nose. I don't know. So far, not too bad, though. See you later. Hey, guys. Um, so I'm going to do my final check-in. It is 8.25. Um, and I'm just doing this handheld, so it could totally be out of focus, but I don't know. It's 8.25, and I'm an old lady, and I want to start getting ready for bed. So um, 
it's obviously dark out so this is just the lighting in my bedroom but I think that this foundation wore pretty well throughout the day I feel like I always underestimate how red my skin is so like if I can see redness right now which I feel like I can when I look in the mirror I think oh this foundation sucks it's not doing anything but in reality it's just that my skin is red you know and this probably I'll get a makeup wipe but this probably is covered up more than I think that it is so let me do this really quick so it took quite a bit off let me see what this looks like yeah so like my cheek is always really a lot redder than I think it is so it really does cover up quite a good amount but Overall, um, I definitely do really like this foundation. I am going to continue to use it, and um, I don't know. I just think it turned out pretty well. Um, I bought the new Wet n Wild Photo Finish Foundation, so I'll be testing that one out in a couple weeks here. So be sure to keep a lookout for that one. Bye.